Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel this week. If you don't know, my name is Danny, and this week I'm going to make something for my front door. Two years ago we painted it this beautiful blue color, and since we painted it I've had this vision of a wreath that I want on my door, but it's not going to be a typical wreath. I want a huge sunflower. I think it's going to look beautiful with this blue. So today, that's what we're going to create. The materials that I have to make my sunflower wreath are this wire wreath skeleton. I got it from the dollar store for a dollar. Gonna need scissors. I bought three different colors of tulle. Got this bright yellow color. Somewhere between orange and yellow. And I also have dark orange. Now for the center of the wreath, I just use old fabric, like old clothes of mine. And I cut them up and I make them into crafts because why not? So I've got this skirt. I'm thinking this dark brown is gonna be my best bet for the center. I am not sure how I want to cut this yet. I don't think I really care if it's like pointed at the ends, you know, like flower petals. I'm just going to make strips and I'm going to tie them to the, the centermost rung here. And then we'll figure out how to make the center. I don't have a pattern for this. I just, I have a vision of what I want for my door, but I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing this. So this is a process. Oh, well, this is doubled up. I'm going to leave it doubled up. I'm thinking maybe like a two inch thick strip. I'm not gonna measure it, I'm just gonna guesstimate. What I plan on doing is putting this through here and just doing that. Oh my goodness. That is not what I wanted. Hmm, okay. But this is the trial part because I don't have a pattern. That's what I do. Oh, that may be perfect. Oh, that's about the length that I want. And see, it's not like droopy, it's like staying. I'm still worried about this. I might have to cover that with like some thing. Okay, so all of these get cut in half. So what we're looking at is a strip about two inches wide and maybe a foot long. You're gonna fold that in half get your little hole down here. And then just, there's that hole. You're just gonna pull that through. I think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna have a sunflower wreath. So right now, all I'm going to do is cut this into strips and I'm gonna cut to that camera to do it. So I have all my tool cut out about an inch and a half to three inches thick, a foot long, and that is what we are going to tie around this whole thing. I've got this done. Well, I mean, it's not done, but I've got the tool on it. I still think that I need to do something about this back here and cover it up. So I wonder if I could like wrap. Ooh, I think that's how I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna take some of the dark orange. I'm gonna cut a long strip or a few and I'm gonna wrap the back of this. And just so you can see what I did here. So I did a pattern here. I did yellow, light orange, dark orange, and I did that seven times between each of these sections, and that does seem to be enough. But now I just have to figure out how to make my centerpiece. Hmm. My other camera died. This is the only camera I have left to record with, but so you're just gonna hear me talking for the rest of it, and when I'm done, I will pull it up to my face. So for the center here, I'm going to use some chalk and I'm just gonna draw the, the size that I need right on this. And then I'm gonna cut like two inches larger. I'm gonna flip these inside out. I'm just gonna sew around it, that's it. I 
I don't want to sew it all the way around. I'm leaving this hole here because I'm going to flip this inside out and go get some stuffing. I don't want it very thick. I just want like a little, a little puff. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to weave this back and forth. And hopefully it looks like a circle when we're done. So now you have this weird little kind of circle shape out of some brown leftover fabric. Let's smush it, flatten it, pick your dog hair off of it. This is going to get stitched in to this. Not all the way around. I'm just going to put some like key stitches in there. Scoot over the tool a little bit and I'm just going to wrap this around it. Around the bar of the wreath and then put it back through the pillow and back around the bar. I'm going to do this five times each. I would like to do one directly opposite of that. I'm going to do four corners, like one, two, three, and four, and then go through and do where I feel it is a little weak. I do not want it looking like that. So I just need to pull up one in the center of each of these that I have it placed. And I think that's going to do it. There she is in all her glory. She's so beautiful. And it looks so great on that door. All right guys, that's all I've got for you for this week. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas, grandmamas, auntie, teachers, fur baby mamas, plant mamas, all the mamas everywhere. Happy Mother's Day. And if you like this week's video, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. I really have no idea what I'm doing from week to week. So tune in next week. Maybe we'll make something else. Probably not. I've done a couple how-to videos recently, so maybe we'll go for a walk. I, don't, I have no idea. I'm just going to keep marching to the beat of my own drum, and you should too. Peace.